Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on SDTM programming with R Tidyverse for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we will see how to implement key SDTM programming concepts using R. We will take a quick look at the SAS program for the same concept and then see in detail about the R program. Please note that the complete explanation of the SAS program for this concept is available in a separate playlist. I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. In this video, we will see how to create sequence variable in HDTM domains. So let's see the specification first. So we are using CV dataset as an example in which the specification for uh, the derivation algorithm for CV6 is sort the records by u sub cd, CV test cd, CV DTC, visit number, visit and assign as one on the first record of each subject and increment by one for each subsequent record for that subject. So let us see how we can program this using SAS and then we'll see how this it can be replicated using R. So here we are sorting the input data set based on the variable specified in the specification and then in the next data step we are making use of that sorted data set and creating a new data set here in this example we are calling it as CV09 and we are specifying the CV seek on retained statement so that uh, the values do not get set to missing between observations and then we have specified that the observations are sorted based on this list of by variables and then on the first record of u sub id we are assigning the value of 1 to cv seek and on all the other records so we are assigning or incrementing it by 1 here so and then finally we are saving the output data set in a data set named output let us see how this can be replicated in r so the code is simple so first we need to take the input data set and sort that using arrange function based on the value specific based on the variable specified in the specification and then we need to group the records based on the values present in u sub jd variable and then we will as we have to create a new variable called cvseq we need to use mutate function so within mutate function for cvc creation we are making use of another function called row number function so row number function actually returns the position of the particular observation in the data set so but when it is grouped it returns the position of that record in that group so as we have group the record based on the value of u sub id so the row number gets incremented within each u sub id so this is kind of equivalent to what we were doing in sas with if first dot c is equal first dot u sub id then c is equal to 1 otherwise incremented by 1 so we can create sequence variable by making use of row number function along with that uh, usage of group by function after sorting it the after sorting the records based on the required by variables let us take a look at the output generated by sas program and also the r tidyverse program it is taking a little longer to load let me pause for a moment yeah it is available now so let us take a look at the values present in cv seek in both the cases so we have the output data set opened on both the cases so we have cv seek added so the data is for two subjects first subject has seven records and second subject has one record so within the subject so we have sorted based on the values present in test cd dtc and visit num so if we see here so we just need to make sure that the the sequence is getting populated as per our sort order so u sub jd cv all the next preference was given for cv test cd so c comes before l so cv is coming here that is fine and within lvf so as there are four records we should check for the date value so 15 jan 17 jan 23rd jan so there are three records so 15 17 and 23rd so this is coming properly and then the sequence should have been started at one for the first record and subsequent records it should have been incremented so all the way till the seventh record it is incrementing properly and as this is the first record for the subject it should have been reset to one so it is coming properly here and if we take a quick look at the sequence here this is also the same let's 
quickly check the row values where sequence is equal to 4 so for subject 1001 so for subject 1001 re record with cv sequence is equal to 4 has a cvdy of 9 so that is the case and that record corresponds to day 7 and scheduled 1 yes and it is of lvef of subject 1001 in both the cases the sequence 4 corresponds to the same parent record so this is how we can create cvseq in our program and match it with our sas program uh, thank you for watching and keep learning